call this infernal impudence. Take care what you say. No use. I dare say you look very handsome and very majestic, but I'm not intimidated. I am an Englishman, and you can kidnap me, but you can't bully me. Remember to whom you are speaking. Remember that dogs should be dumb. And do you remember, Captain, that famous as I am for my clemency, there are limits to the patience even of an empress. How can a man remember anything when he's tossed up in this ridiculous fashion? Here, don't be unkind, Your Majesty. Tell these fellows to unstrap me. You know, you really owe me an apology. You think you can escape by appealing like Prince Patemkin to my sense of humor? Sense of humor? Ho, oh, ha, ha, I like that. Would anybody with a sense of humor make a fool of a man like this and expect him to take it seriously? I say, do tell them to unloosen these straps. Why should I, pray? Why? Why? Because they're hurting me! People sometimes learn through suffering. Manners, for instance. Roll that nearer. Loosen me! Oh, well, if you're an ill-natured woman hurting me on purpose, I've nothing more to say. A monarch, sir, has sometimes to employ a necessary and salutary severity. Quack, quack, quack. Don't know that's a man! This isn't severity, it's tomfoolery. And if you think you're reforming my character or teaching me anything, you're mistaken. What are you grinning at? Oh, be merciful, little mother. My heart is in my mouth. Your heart on your mouth will be in two separate parts of your body if you again forget in whose presence you stand. Go and take your men with you. Five thousand blows of the stick for the soldier who is in the room when I next speak. Well, Captain, now perhaps I shall teach you how to be a footstool. <laughs> I must really ask Your Majesty not to put the point of your imperial toe between my ribs. I am tickled, son. Indeed. All the more reason for you, Captain, to treat me with respect. <laughs> if Your Majesty does that again, I shall write to the London Gazette. Ask it back, Nift. Quack, quack, quack. Wie komisch. What a wonderful author is Monsieur Voltaire. How lucidly exposes the folly of this crazy plan for raising the entire revenue of the country from a single tax on land. How he withers it with his irony. How he makes you laugh whilst he's convincing you. How sure one feels that the proposal is killed by his wit and economic penetration. Killed never to be mentioned again among educated people. Oh, for heaven's sake, ma'am, you tend to leave me tied up like this while you discuss the blasphemies of that abominable infidel. <laughs> to say that Monsieur Voltaire is a great philanthropist and a great philosopher as well as the wittiest man in Europe? Certainly not. I say his books ought to be burnt by the common hangman. Oh, 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 oh no, don't! Oh, oh, no, I shall faint. I can't bear it. Have you changed your opinion of Monsieur Voltaire? But you can't expect me as a member of the Church of England. No! Oh, Lord! He's anything you like. He's a philanthropist, a philosopher, a beauty. He ought to have a statue, damn him. No, 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 bless him. Send him victorious, happy and glorious. May eternal honors crown his name, Voltaire, thrice worthy on the rolls of fame. And now, will you let me up? And look here, I can see your ankles when you tickle me. It's not ladylike. Is the spectacle so disagreeable? It's agreeable enough. Only for heaven's sake, don't touch me in the ribs. Captain Edstaston, at today's petit levee, why did you refuse to come when I sent for you? Ma'am, um, I cannot talk tied up like this. Do you still intend to write to the London Gazette about me? Not if you unloosen these straps. Quick, unloosen me. I'm fainting. I don't think you are. <laughs> oh, cat! What? No! Angel! Angel. I don't know a word of German, but that sounds kind. Little mother. Beautiful, little, darling, angel mother. Don't be cruel. 
Untie me, don't be unkind. I shall go mad. You are expected to go mad with love when an empress deigns to interest herself in you. When an empress allows you to see her foot, you should kiss it. Captain, you are a booby. I'm nothing of the kind. I've been mentioned in dispatches as a highly intelligent officer. Oh, I beg your pardon, yes, of course. I do apologize, but uh, could you untie me? Well, Captain. Could you bring it a little nearer? Our congratulations, Captain. You are learning. <coughs> Let's hope for further improvements, eh? But first, there is the matter of how you describe me to the young woman you were dancing with. What am I? Rude, nasty, domineering, and op opin... Opinionated? Yeah, thank you, Opinionated. Well, the fact is. Yes, Captain? Claire, Miss Gorse, my fiance, was a trifle jealous. So I. She was jealous of us. That is good. Though you lied to her. Yes. Oh, we forgive you then. <coughs> Perhaps, Captain, you are not such a booby after all. A booby? Oh, I'm certainly nothing of a. Oh, I'm stiff all over. Oh, little angel mother, don't ever do that to a man again. Knout him, kill him, roast him, baste him, hang head and quarter him, but don't tickle him. Do I not have the right to amuse myself? I believed her. My poor little aching captain. Catherine knows what will cure your stiffness. <laughs> that does good. Is that 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 line you kept? Uh. Oh, oh, yes. Just that. Mm. Oh. Right, yes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, forgive me. Oh, you, um, you know, I, I really have never... Been... Oh, Schmein, Liebchen. I could stay like this forever. You must. I command you to. Oh, my God. It's Claire. I must get there. She's coming in here. She will not come in. I forbid it. What shall I do? Your Majesty, would you be a little angel mother and tie me up again? Charles. I really am most awfully grateful. I didn't know they did this sort of thing in England. What happens now? Perhaps it would be better if Claire thought I were being tortured just to keep up appearances. Claire? Well, you see, she really is most awfully jealous. If I'm not being tortured, it would be the very devil to pay. I see. Very well, Captain. This will give me the greatest pleasure. Oh, oh no, no, not that! <laughs> Catherine, philosophy, Europe is looking on. Steady, dearest. She is the Empress. Call her your Imperial Majesty. Call her Star of the North. Little Mother, little Darling. That's what she likes. Keep quiet, dear. I cannot get these straps off if you move. Keep quiet still, Captain. You're being tortured. This is the favorite torture of Catherine II, mademoiselle. And I think the captain enjoys it very much. Thank you. At the risk of repeating myself, 
Don't ever tickle a man again. Your young lady seems still to think that you enjoyed it. I know what I think. I will never speak to him again. Your Majesty can keep him as far as I'm concerned. I would not deprive you of him for worlds, though really I think he's rather a darling. 